Hiya everybody, Link's Little Triforce here with The Legend of Cosplay. It's another special episode of The Legend of Collections because today we are unboxing da -da -da, the BioWorld NES Zelda gift set. Now, before we do that, I want to give a special thanks to Brandon, the owner of the Hylian Shop. So Brandon was super nice enough to send this cute little letter along with my package. Um, first of all, it came with the Hylian Shopped five dollar gift card, which that's pretty neat. You know, like you don't you don't get you don't get that. And look how cute look how cute that is. It's like Hylian mail. I mean, come on. I covered up the code because this is my five dollars. I want this five dollars. I'm pretending that this five dollars is my sponsorship not a sponsor. But I mean, isn't that cute? And it's got this little like gold envelope with a Highland Shop sticker on that. It's adorable, right? And then on top of that, not only was there just this nice little gift card included and this swanky business card, there's also a personal letter in here. And let me read it to you. So it says, thank you. Thank you. It says, dear Linkville Triforce, thank you so much for your order and for choosing the Highland Shop. I hope you love these items. If you're ever in need of anything at all, it would be my honor to help. In service, Brandon, owner of the Hylian Shop. Now this got me thinking. Do we know each other, Brandon? Do I know you? Have I met you? Have I talked to you? If so, what's up, man? If not, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not cooler. All right, so let's get to the good, shall we? Did I mention that Brandon sent me this cute little ruby bag too? Look at these rupees, yay! Okay, back to unboxing. wallets go this is a pretty decent bifold wallet um, it is definitely a luster on that golden cartridge that I fear will rub off very easily with wear um, so if you are a collector and you want to keep this in nice shape use at your discretion um, I know with the golden cartridge Zelda purse that I had it kind of rubbed right off pretty quickly and turned just into this black vinyl um, so keep that in mind. In the inside, nothing super fancy, just some black vinyl there. The pins I really like. Uh, let's look at the cartridge first. It is the first Zelda cartridge, just like everything else with the golden cartridge decor. Then there is a pin of just the little crest. Um, you don't see the crest anymore. It's a very nondescript crest, I suppose. Um, the only thing on it that's really Zelda E would be like the keys and the hearts, but even those aren't classic Zelda style. Uh, but this was the early Zelda, so there wasn't really a theme, there wasn't really iconic symbols that they had to use yet. Um, so this is the same 
shield crest that you see on the classic Zelda cartridges. For the cat has this nice crisscross embroidery here to kind of give you the illusion of the 8-bit pixeling. Um, very thick if you can see that. It's not like a flat embroidery as far as flat to the hat. Um, it does stand out a little bit. It almost looks like grandma had cross-stitched you <laughs> Link holding the Triforce and then glued it onto the hat because she wanted to be the hip grandma. Which, by the way, hip grandma, you rock. Keep being hip grandma. On the back, we just have Link. Uh, I know it's kind of indented here. Um, Boop, there we go. Just Link. Really simple hat. One size fits all. Kind of seems on the larger side for baseball hats. Um, definitely a lot wider than too many of the hats that are in the Zelda franchise that I am used to picking up. This one's definitely a little bit bigger, which might be actually nice because I have a big fat head. Um, other than that, we just have our box. It just says dangerous to go alone. Take this. The back of the cartridge here. You have your old man. The big golden cartridge box, and I really just love the design. But what seals it off for me? Not only do you have your giant NES cartridge, you also have your giant NES dust cover. I mean, how great is that? I kind of want just a giant NES made out of cardboard now so I can just jam that right in there. And that's about it. That is the Bio World NES Zelda gift box. Are there things that you wish would have been in this gift box or what was your favorite item? Personally, I kind of really dig the pins. All right. That is all for this episode of the Legend of Collections. And until next time, I'll see you later.